So I'm also new here in the United States. I just got my California driver's license in the mail. I'm really excited about it. I really needed it. Not for driving, I have to drive with my car license. But I really needed it to buy booze. Apparently, some places here don't sell you liquor unless you can prove you absolutely might kill someone with it. <laughs> yeah, liquor's great. I was sitting in a bar with a friend of mine the other day, and he suddenly says to me, you know, I really want to have sex with an Indian woman. I say, that's reasonable, good for you for having achievable goals. <laughs> so then I ask him why Indian specifically. So he says, well, you know how they got the Kama Sutra? They can do stuff to you other women don't even know about. I say, that's a fair assumption. That's kind of like assuming I know the Apple terms of use because I click the I agree button when I'm doing my software. <laughs> but whatever, you know. So then I ask him, how about, say, sex with an Asian woman? So he says, yeah, you know, I think I do, yeah. I love how petite and limber they are. So I say, how about an older woman? So he says, hmm, yeah, you know, I think when it comes to sex, experience is very important. So I say, how about a Latin woman? He says, yeah, obviously. And uh, <laughs> anyway, this went on for a few minutes. I tried uh, black woman, Jewish woman, short woman, tall woman. Basically, we've asserted that he wants to have sex with a woman. <laughs> <laughs> or to generalize even further, a uh, woman-shaped person. <laughs> <laughs> and the point of the story is that, you know, we have our sexual fantasies about every race, creed, nationality, Basically, for every type of person, there is an attractive version we fantasize about. So it's in no way racist, ageist, sexist, you know, or any other is you can think of. When I say that I fucking hate beautiful people, they're a bunch of entitled pricks. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, look at him, that hypocrite. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I'm not talking about slightly above average looking people. I'm talking about those full-blown, no imperfections, Hollywood type, good looking, beautiful people. The ones that are taking away our fucking jobs. I mean, it's, yeah, it, I mean, it started with the fashion world. You know how fashion models weren't always this attractive? They were originally a bunch of bland looking human coat hangers. And the whole point of a fashion model is someone who could walk around with a tiny strapless bikini and you'd look at her and say, Wow, is that polyester? <laughs> uh, I mean, I like today, we watch a fashion show, we're just trying to look around the fabric. You know, like, of the new Armani collection, I think I saw two side boobs. <laughs> <laughs> and there's acting, like, you know how Shalise Theron won an Oscar for playing an ugly prostitute? Well, that's good for her, but they really have to cast Shalise Theron for that role? Are there no less attractive actresses in Hollywood that they just had to settle for her and make up for the difference with ugly makeup? <laughs> I mean, for once, I want to see Hollywood cast an ugly actress as an attractive character. They pull that off. That's fucking Oscar worthy. <laughs> that's just the tip of the iceberg. I mean, today you have attractive news presenters, good looking sales representatives, sexy bartenders, waitresses, hot telling marketers, at least that's, they are in my head. <laughs> I mean, who gives a damn about illegal immigrants taking our jobs? I mean, they only take the shit jobs we don't want to do anyway. No little girl ever said, when I grow up, I want to clean rich people's houses, only to have her hopes and dreams crushed at age 14 by a cleaning town agent that says, sorry babe, you can't clean here, you're just not immigrant enough. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just <laughs> in the workforce, too. I mean, I mean, you know how hard it was even for someone like me who's slightly above average looking, according to my mom, <laughs> to find true companionship. I mean, someone who would really love me for my inner beauty, who would appreciate my intellect and good nature without having to settle for an ugly chick. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty hard, but that's the world we live in. Thank you. Woo! Woo! Uh, your next comment coming up.